Welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So yesterday we talked about surviving the holidays leading up to the day. And now we're going to talk about surviving the holidays on the day of. Today I have eight tips on how to survive the holidays when you are single. And single could be seriously single, not dealing with anyone. Or maybe you are um, a part of the military and you are the spouse that's actually home. So your baby is not there. Or maybe they're traveling on um, work or maybe someone just passed away, you're going through a divorce or a separation, so you're single during this holiday season. But again, we are choosing to be happy and away from that depressive state. We are choosing to be happy around the holiday season no matter what. So again, I will give you those eight tips on how to survive the holiday day right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the eight tips on how to survive the holiday season when you are single. All right, the very first one is to make sure that you are absolutely present on that day. Present, doing whatever it is that you are doing and not stuck up here. Stuck up here meaning who is not there, why they are not there, how come you are single like all of that stuff needs to be gone today whatever it is an activity that you are doing or the people that you are around that day that environment is what you need to be focusing on because you are going to have so much better time if you decide and choose to be present in that moment it doesn't mean that you're not going to think about it periodically, but as soon as you start to think about that depression that's coming on to you, that you're starting to take it in because maybe you're looking around and you're seeing other couples out there and you're not with your boo for whatever reason, make a different choice and start to think about and be present in the moment that you are in with whom you are with. The second thing that I want to make sure that you are not doing, ladies and gentlemen, is that there are no pity parties today. Do not stress about today. Do not think about how you're going to get those questions because remember, you prepared for those questions. So you know that they're coming. So you don't need to stress about it. You don't need to stress about what you're doing because, again, you prepared ahead of time. You prepared how your day is going to go because you knew it was coming. And again, this holiday season, we are choosing to be happy. We are taking a different approach because, as you know, so many people get depressed around the holiday season because they feel that they have not gotten what they feel that they have should have got. And specifically, a person most of the time. Or they're not around the people that they want to be around. And they're stuck in said situation. Maybe you're actually traveling in the airport and you got delayed. But again, we are choosing not to stress out. We are choosing not to have any pity parties this day. At all. As much as possible. Practicing. No stressing. No pity parties being present. The third thing to think about is to actually just think about creating new traditions. You know, some of the things that you actually did with your spouse and now they're no longer there and now you don't want to think about them because it's going to put you in that lonely state or what was me state. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to think about something fun that now you want to make sure it becomes a new tradition whether or not that person is around next year. Or the next holiday, which is Christmas. It's right around the corner. The fourth thing that you could do goes along with the planning stage. But on the night of, maybe you can actually have a girl's night out or a girl's night um, in. Or, fellas, a guy's night out or a guy's night in. Yeah. Because you planned ahead and now you know how your day is going to be because you want to be present with the people that you know want to be around you and in your company and you're not having any pity parties today. No stressing, planning your own thing, creating your new traditions with the people that you know love and want to be around you. So this could be just with your girls. 
This includes family because your family could be your girls or your guys, your homies, your boys. The fifth thing that you could do is absolutely volunteer somewhere. Yeah, you can volunteer somewhere because anytime that you are serving others, it makes you feel better about your circumstances and your situation. And you have no choice but to get out of here because now you're serving other people and you can focus on somebody else and helping them out. Somebody that is less fortunate, that don't have the things that you have. So volunteering is a great way to spend the day or at least part of the day. And especially if you are a parent, this is a way to show the children how blessed they actually are by helping someone else, by going to serve someone else, whether it's food, whether it's handing out clothing, whatever it is that they need, serving other people absolutely makes you feel better about yourself, about yourself. but it also helps the other person feel grateful and blessed that an angel was sent their way to help them out in their time of need. Volunteering is a great way to get out of the pity party. The woe is me. The next thing is to remember that nothing, I mean absolutely nothing, will be perfect. Something is always going to go wrong. You know, there might be an argument with one of the family members or maybe as another couple is arguing and they cutting up. Nothing is going to be perfect. You might forget some of the dressing or the cranberry sauce. There's going to be something that is not going to be on point, but do not beat yourself up about that thing. Something about the day is not going to go perfect. We hear these stories all the time about the crazy uncle that had drunk too much or the crazy aunt that had drunk too much and then something went downhill or she read the rights of somebody else that she'd been talking about behind their back and now she didn't got some liquid courage up in her and now she just going ham. <laughs> something ain't gonna go right. And that's okay. That's a part of it. That's a part of the journey. That's a part of you building the memories for this day. The next thing to think about, and I actually should have said this earlier, is to make sure that you get out, just get out of the house, even if you do not want to. Even if you made plans and you're like, you know what, I don't even want to go. Get up, get dressed, and go anyway. Because again, you are going to feel so much better when you are around people that you know love you. And want you to actually be there. And again, it's going to take you out of here. It's going to help you focus on what you actually do have. And the people that you actually have. Versus what you don't have. Which is what I addressed yesterday. Get up. Get dressed. And go anyway. Anytime. Anytime. I have one of those moments. I'm like, dang, I'm actually glad that I went. Like, that that was good. That was cool. That was whatever. Whatever. Insert what I'm going to say there. But I always feel much better after I've gotten up and went out of the house. Because a lot of times when you're in the house and you get into that depressive mode is because you have not opened up the window. You haven't taken a shower. You haven't brushed your teeth. Everything about you is just ugh. And so this forces you to get out of that ugh state. Because you're going to get up and put on some makeup if you're a woman and, and you know, spruce up the hair, make, you, make yourself all sexy in your clothing. If you're a guy, you're going to groom your beard and cut your hair and cut, put on your cologne, put on your sexy, well, maybe not sexy, but, you know, put on your clothes that make you feel good. So, again, get up and get out, even if you don't want to. Yesterday, I addressed the people that love you and want to be around you. But those definitely, which is the next point, is to make sure that you surround yourself with quality people. I know a lot of times we just want to get up and get out of the house, right? But sometimes they are, that is not with a quality person. And then you might end up actually regretting getting up out of your bed and getting ready to go. However, because you planned ahead of who you're going to hang out with, we all know who our quality friends and family members are. Those are the one, ones that you want to hang around with because they are going to make you feel good. They're going to give you those feel-good feelings when you are around them. Those are the people that you want to be around. So make sure when you choose, when you're making your plan, which was yesterday's, you made your plan that you made your plan with quality people. Those are the people that you want to be around.
Not the people that's dragging you down. Not somebody else that's in a woe is me state and y'all sitting around having a pity party because we're not choosing that this holiday season. Remember, we're choosing to be happy. We're choosing something different. The last and final piece of advice, ladies and gentlemen, is if everything fails and you just suck at the day, remember that it's only for today. So get through today and guess what? Tomorrow, everything will be back to normal. These are eight ways on how to survive the holidays and definitely leading up to. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. And now we're surviving the holidays the day of. Ladies and gentlemen, you got this. Depression ain't got nothing on you. Anxiety ain't got nothing on you. Stress ain't got nothing on you. You will win the day. Deuces.